Hi there, it's Roland from Getting It Done North of 7. Are you having trouble with your ATV hesitating, idle issues, or starting issues? I recently had this issue. I have a 2004 Suzuki Iger 4x4, and apparently Suzuki Iger ATVs from 2003 to 2007 all had an issue with the fuel petcock. And I'm going to show you how to remedy this problem inexpensively and fairly easy, easily to do. So what the issue is here is with this fuel petcock, in the back of this petcock is a diaphragm. And that's where the issue com is coming from. So with most petcocks you have an on and off position and the fuel is gravity fed to your carburetor. But with this type of fuel petcock, there's a diaphragm and this is your fuel line right here and this runs to your bottom of your carb and at the top of your carb there's another line right here that goes to the top of your carb and this is vacuum and what happens is this draws a vacuum sucks here and causes a plunger inside here to open up or close whichever it is and that allows fuel to come down through here and into your carburetor on the on position and on the reserve position. But what the issue is, is this diaphragm back in here. It has either let go or has malfunctioned. It doesn't allow the plunger to do its job so that the fuel runs down here in the on position. So you are literally starving your carburetor of fuel causing your ATV to stop running and hesitate. So I'm just going to show you guys what what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap this petcock out with another petcock. Now I didn't buy the Suzuki petcock from the Suzuki dealer because I was looking at about $150 for this petcock alone to replace this one with the diaphragm. I'm going to replace it with a petcock that has no diaphragm, it's gravity fed. And this is the petcock I'm going to replace the original with. It comes from Yamaha. It fits exactly like the Suzuki one does. It has the same length here of fuel intake and the filters. Everything is, it matches perfectly. But you see it has no diaphragm. It's just going to be like a regular petcock put it in the on position and it's going to be gravity fed or reserve and then when you're done using it precaution put it in the off position this here is the number for this part right here and I will put it down in the description below so that you can grab that now you can see I paid forty one dollars for this part here in Canada um, I didn't realize, I did a little more research after I bought it and I could have got it cheaper, but if I was to take this back I'm going to be paying a 30% restocking fee, so I'll just take the loss and get it in, I don't care, I just got to have this ATV running so I can plow some snow, we have a major snowstorm going on here all weekend, so I have to get this thing done. So just in case you've never worked on one of these before, to take these sides off to get at your fuel pack cock, you have to take out these, I forget what they call these things, some kind of divots or whatever, but you just stick a screwdriver in here and lift this up and then there's ones that you just push in the center, like I'll show you this one here. This here, you just stick like a screwdriver in here and push that button in and they pop right out and you can easily remove the sides to get access to your fuel petcock or anything else you're working on your engine. The very first thing we have to do is we have to drain the gas tank of any fuel because once we take the fuel petcock out it's going to be open, there'll be an open hole and the fuel will drain all over the place and we don't want that. So I'm going to take the cap off here and I'm going to empty out the gas tank. I'm going to use this pump I'm going to take this pump out of this gas can and I'm going to use it to drain the gas tank on the ATV. These pumps are just run by a battery and I'll just take this off and there's a hose that goes down to the can. I'll stick that hose in the gas tank 
and I'll put this into a gas can and it will draw the fuel from that gas tank and the ATV into my fuel can. This pump here is great and I have a video that will show you, I did a review on this pump and it's very inexpensive, you can get it on Amazon, you'll love it. So I have the pump set up and ready, the gas can, I'm just going to move the fuel from here to this can. As you can see there's a hose in here, it goes way down in there. So you just got to hit the on button, and it's going to pump a little fuel out. You can also use a hand pump for this. And there we're done. So I just hit the off button and now this fuel tank is empty we can remove the pet cocker. Okay, now that we have the gas tank empty, what I did was is I took the fuel line off here and I took the vacuum line off of here. And whatever little bit of gas was left in the bomb here, I put it on prime so that it runs out through this uh, line here. And I'm just catching the remaining fuel in here until it's completely empty. I did crack these here, these two nuts, or two bolts that hold on the petcock so that it's leaking a little bit here too that's okay just want to get all the fuel out of there before I drop this down and put the new one back in so I'm using an 8 millimeter socket looks like it's pretty much done gripping here now so I'll try to squeeze this in here and finish loosening I'm trying to hold this you know what, we're going to move this gas can out of, or this catch can out of the way and just hope for the best we don't get too much fuel dropping down. That's one bolt out. I'm going to grab this catch can and put it under there just in case we have a few an ounce left or whatever. No, we're good. We're good. Now as you can see, the filters on here where the, the fuel comes into this petcock, they're fine. They're not dirty or anything. They're in good shape. So that definitely was an issue. It definitely was probably this uh, diaphragm in here. So now we have the new petcock. I don't know if you can see this plastic that's over here. You, you have to remove this. So the fuel can get in to that pipe like that. So yeah, just just remove that. Okay, now I'm going to put it back. The new fuel petcock get back into the tank here. There we go. Just had to be careful. You can also remove this cap that's here on the fuel line. And we'll put the bolts in. Okay, so we got the petcock bolted up into the bottom of the gas tank. It's all snugged up and tight now. And I have the cap off of the petcock outlet here. So now what we have to do is 
cut a little bit of the fuel line off here that goes to the car because it's a little bit long and we don't want it to kink. So I'm just going to push back this clamp here a bit and I figure we don't want to go too short just in case. Yeah, maybe about right here. Just, just cut that elbow off right there. You can put that up on the fuel outlet of the peacock. And then we can bring up our clamp. And we can put the clamp on now. Now, what we have to take care of is this vacuum line that I spoke about earlier in the video that goes to the carburetor. So what we're going to do with this is I have this pin here. I was going to use a fuse, you know those old fuses, glass fuses, and stick it in there. But I'm going to use this because I couldn't find a fuse. And actually, I think this is going to work better if it fits. Now I have the vacuum line that goes to the carb. I have it plugged with this. What I want to do is I'm going to shorten this vacuum line and plug it again so that uh, it's just shorter and not in the way. But for now, I just wanted to get the fuel line on. I want to plug the vacuum because it won't be used anymore. And you need to plug that so it's not sucking air, right? And I'm going to turn this on. Well, first I have to put fuel back in the tank. I'm going to turn this on. And we're going to fire this up. See if it runs. Okay, fuel is in the tank. And there is no leaks down here where I attached the petcock to the tank. Bolted it up. It's all good. So I'm going to turn the fuel on. And we're going to fire it up. See if it goes. So just to recap, the, the ATV was not idling, it would stall on me, it was getting hard to start. I did some research and I knew this thing was running good because it ran, it has run good for three years, it was running good right up to the end, I, I run it nearly every day. I thought well maybe there had been some water in the gas and it may have froze, so I put some of that fuel antifreeze in there that didn't solve the problem so I did some research and I figured out that it was the Suzuki Iger uh, Peacock and the diaphragm problem in the back here so what I did is I took it out I swapped it out with a Yamaha Peacock and I'll put the model number down below in the description and you can check it out and actually I'll put a link to some of these too, where you can get them on Amazon and they're they're really cheap. So as you can tell, I have my work cut out for me. It's snowing like crazy here. The snow has been building up. It's kind of heavy. So I have to get my ATV out of there and start plowing. You can hear the plows going on, running around in town. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Take care.